हा गुड इवनिंग मिस पालक मिश्रा कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑन सिक्योरिंग ऑल इंडिया रैंक सेवन सिविल सर्विस एग्जाम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विथ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन स्ट्रीम ओके I am proud to say that you have taken mains postal coaching, mains live classes, and also interview guidance program. Okay. Yes. So, Miss Palak Mishra, please introduce about yourself. Uh, so, so basically, I was born and brought up in Allahabad, and then I did my early schooling from Allahabad itself. Till class twelve, schooling from Allahabad itself. Okay. Then uh, I got in J. I got a decent rank to get a college, M N N I T, Allahabad. Mm -hmm. and then i've done my btech from there in electronics and telecommunication engineering mm -hmm. and after that in the final year of my college i was placed in qualcom qualcom yeah okay. so since i completed my btech in 2022 and since then i have been working here and apart from this in 2021 gate when i was in third year i had secured an all india rank of 195 in gate mm -hmm. and in final year an all india rank of 188 you are a real winner See, in third year itself, you got a rank less than two hundred. Campus, Qualcomm. I think definitely it is fourteen, fifteen lakhs package, na? Sir, so the package is twenty-eight lakh. Okay. So then, why you are uh, shifting to this government job when you are highly placed in uh, Qualcomm? Yes, sir. Basically, I want to become an IAS officer. so i do not have enough time to study here for like for a big exam like ias and since i had prepared well in the college like i had studied ec quite well in the college so i mm. thought that hearing engineering services is easier so i thought that i'll appear for engineering services and once i'll get a one year or two year time um, mm. so i can resign from here and then prepare for ias so that Great. was the entire plan so hope you will we'll see you as a district collector of some good district okay so Coming to the prelims exam, yes, uh, how you have prepared for general studies and the technical paper? Sir, I was very selective while preparing for general studies. Like I did not uh, think that I will complete the entire syllabus in right. the first place itself. Like I had prepared for maths in the gate for gate itself. So oh. uh, maths was prepared from there itself. Then I thought, and mm. I just solved the previous questions of all, like ESC, say twenty five or thirty years previous year questions, and uh, uh, then engineering aptitude was also like it is basic reasoning, basic maths only. So that also I was pretty comfortable in that. I mm. did not face any difficulty. So I thought that like this this portion GS plus engineering aptitude comes of fifty marks. So if I can secure forty marks here, so this will be good. And then afterwards, I studied from uh, my senior notes, uh, like in uh, for uh, environmental studies, and then senior notes for ethics, integrity, and aptitude. And uh, this a major portion of advanced communication is covered, like it, this overlaps with uh, this ICT. So that also I had studied. And uh, apart from this, very selective reading of current affairs, since there is a very less probability that uh, the questions will uh, like. Mm -hmm. like there will be an intersection of what you have studied so i just aim for 80 marks from there and i think according to the answer keys i should get something around 75 80 in the tech in this whether uh, upsc has uh, given the marks attained by you till now uh, no sir not yet but like yeah. the coaching answer sheets like answer keys from there when i asked i was getting around 75 80 so what about a technical objective paper Because one fifty questions, three hours. So how you could manage the time? Yes, sir. so basically in the first, uh, like I just went through the entire paper once, like not just going through the, all the questions which I thought that I could do in one shot. Then I kept on doing those questions, and once I was done with that, then the second reading of the question paper and so on. Like I think that I have pretty good speed, so I did not need to work majorly on that. Once I know the formula, then I can like basically in ESC I have realized that the gate questions are in depth, but ESC the questions are not in depth. It is basically most of them like seventy sixty percent are formula based. And if you will perform those sixty seventy percent questions, then I think you're good place. And while preparing, I just solved the test series and the previous year ESC questions. So these were the key points. So previous year questions were useful 
in yes, preparation? Yes, so they were extremely useful. They were the most useful thing I should say. This the previous air question and test series. They were my go-to things. Like while revising, also I used to revise the previous air questions again and again. The test series questions that I was not able to do in the first attempt again and again. Uh, how you have taken care of uh, the negative marking in case of wrong answers? Uh, sir, I just used to be careful while solving the questions. And I just, like, I used to do the question on a paper. And once I had done the entire questions and, like, after matching, then I used to see where exactly I'm making mistakes or whether it is question, like, calculation mistake or if there are some concept, there's some conceptual inclarity. So I used to see that and likewise I improved. That because there was a sufficient time, say, of eight months or ten months. So that was enough for me to like study properly. See, you are working already. Okay. How you could manage time for a preparation? So, so basically, like I had pretty much, I was pretty much disciplined, I should say, for uh, like the previous one year or something. So I used to wake up at around six o'clock and then see four hours in the of study in the morning. Then I went used to go to the office. So like three, four hours I used to study on the weekdays. And on the weekends, these three, four hours changed to seven, eight hours. So time management was not a very big issue for me. And since I studied properly in college, so this this much time was enough, I think. So when you started your preparation in the college, second year or third year? Uh, no, the third year. Like in third year, the companies come for internship. So I got an internship at Qualcomm. So hmm. after that, the lockdown thing was going on. So I was extremely free. I did not have anything to do. So hmm. from there itself, I started preparing. Started with the basic subjects like this, uh, signal and network, digital, all this. And then I used to solve the previous questions of gate initially. And then I shifted to EAC gradually. So from there itself, I started. But then I studied for three months. And then, it, like, then I stopped studying for it. I thought that now I should prepare directly for civil services. And leave uh, this engineering services. Why should I waste time here? But once I joined the office here, then I realized that I do not have enough time to prepare for civil services in one go. And once I do not did not want to be stuck here. Say like if I was stuck here for two three years and then I could not come out, then my age will also like happen, and then I will not be able to prepare for civil services properly. So with respect to mains paper, two papers were there, total six hundred marks, yes, and sir. question come answer booklet. So yes. how you have handled the practicing of the conventional question? Yes, sir. So the conventional question again, sir, my basic focus was previous year questions plus test series. I used to do test series very religiously, the previous year questions very religiously. And uh, while like, uh, like what if you are writing tests like uh, habitually, then you get habituated to like uh, writing your answer in the prescribed phase that is given. And also, I used to choose the like easy questions, which I thought that this I could do in one go. So I used to choose that, and then I used to do it. And at least I made sure that out of the 60 marks, I know 40 marks in that. Then only I used to attempt it. So what about the interview? Say, in the interview uh, board, how many members were there? The four members were there. Any lady was there? Yes, sir. One mom was there. Okay, how you have addressed the board members? How you have addressed the board members just while entering the chamber board? Yes, sir. I just said good afternoon to everyone and they asked me to take the seat. Then I took the seat, said thank you, and that was it. Okay. So whether whether they asked any questions on your personal biodata? Yes, sir. I think most of the questions were on my personal biodata or some will link to my personal biodata. Like as soon as I entered. Chairman sir asked me that uh, you are from Allahabad. I said yes. So he told me that Allahabad University was once at once the Oxford of the East. So what had happened that its educational standard has degraded so much. So I answered like political in interference and uh, like academia is not respected. And so he got satisfied. And he also gave a monologue regarding all this, like regarding the degradation. And then it all shifted to technical. Like technical also was most of it was my pro job profile related. Or like Qualcomm works a lot in 5G, so 5G related, latest technology related. So I think it re revolved, the internal interview revolved around my DAP only, detailed application. Whether they try to corner you, you are already uh, having a excellent job of so and so lack package, or you are coming for a less package job. Yes, so sir. I was expecting that I will be heavily cross-questioned on this. 
uh, but like he asked me why do you want to come here and why do you want to leave the job so i told them that i think my personality is more suited for a, a, like a job where there is some managerial role rather than doing something which is purely technical and uh, uh, like yeah and also the diversity that this job brings in will be better for my career growth and i'll be able to contribute better here so and added to this are some additional factors like job security which i do not i was not sure whether i should say or not because uh, it might create a negative impression but i said and then he was like satisfied any questions on the question any questions on current affairs and no sir no no current affairs question on hobbies my hobby. hobbies I, i had written cricket watching cricket as my hobby so the world cup was going on then so he asked uh, what is a major event going on and then what is india's position how how far do you think india will reach in the world cup that's it so you are from an mit uh, ms pala uh, what is your suggestion to your juniors who are pursuing btech maybe first year second year or third year in which year you advise them to start and how they have to balance the semester exam and the preparation for competitive exam yes sir. so basically sir what i used to do in college was uh, like say your third semester is going on and uh, you just open the syllabus of esc and side by side see the subjects of the esc that are in your present semester right mm -hmm. the network is in your third semester so study network religiously that prepares you for the semester exams also and at the same time that prepares you for like and then all previous questions of weight plus esc and so that also prepares you for uh, like both the exams mm -hmm. so with college if you can start doing so it will be really good like people advised to start from second year but i myself started from third year because i was a little bit job focused i should secure a job at least first i should be financially like stable and then i can just pursue all this so mm -hmm. i started in third year in second year i was concentrated on getting an internship and once you get an internship like welcome offers pre placement offer you got is, internship in second year or third year so at the end of the second year like in the third year Fifth semester, like the first starting days only, companies start to come. So I just start for the first company and I got the internship there itself, and then I got pre-placement offer from in the fourth year. See, and one side the core syllabus, electronics and communication syllabus is different. I think Qualcomm is a software job, na? No? no, sir. It is a core electronics core. It's electronics. also core electronics. So yes, sir. You could could not face any problem there. I think both yes, are. So basically. Side. it actually prepare like while preparing for qualcom to i solved the previous year questions of digital electronics mm -hmm. so get previous year questions so that prepared me well anyway this is the question i am going to ask is out of this interview it is uh, what about the qualcom uh, internship how you got that internship yes sir so basically like in a mnit in a college these uh, this in the fifth semester the companies come right and before the fifth semester we have a 2 2.5 months break so our seniors advised us what to study for that so basically i studied digital electronics properly mm -hmm. and then sta that is static time analysis yes. properly and there is a language very long very long hardware yeah. description language so i got acquainted with the basics of very long and learned to write basic codes like of that of flip flop and etc and then a few questions from computer programming were there basic computer programming c programming so i prepared from that for that from geeks for geeks and then there were general aptitude questions so that is how i prepared for this uh, like internship i appreciate you you are really talented uh, smala uh, anyway finally uh, what uh, inspiration or motivation you are going to uh, give for the juniors so i would say to the juniors who are preparing for it like the basic thing is be consistent be disciplined and be very honest to yourself don't try to make a fool of yourself and if you like if you means like most of the people who prepare they go to the coaching so if you are honest to yourself and you are doing everything that the teach coaching teacher advises you to do you are solving the previous year questions properly do not fall in love with any subject just do it this solve questions uh, that is only Thing I could tell my juniors. What is your CGPA? All... CGPA in your college? Sir, my CGPA was nine point six, which was the highest. Yeah, in my my college. God, nine point six. So you're an all rounder. Uh, anyway, Spala, congratulations once again. 
convey our pranams to your parents. Huh? Thank, Thank you, Dutta. All the best. God bless you. Thank you, sir.